the course is uh, Management 656, a management of software development. Um, and basically, we learned a lot of different management techniques, and we also learned how to code um, and make a website and basically understand what software developers do every day. So once you understand what their job is, it's much easier to manage them. In the beginning, it was uh, largely about getting exposure to some uh, real sort of fundamentals. We worked on a project uh, in Teams where we utilized a lot of that uh, learning that had happened early. And so um, that was uh, sort of one big piece. And then the other piece was really about um, learning uh, sort of management around software ventures and Agile and Scrum and kind of some of the tools and sort of best practices that go into creating great um, software in teams. People were skeptical at first that we could teach so much technology in such a brief amount of time. In truth, though, the students were so voracious for um, those particular topics that they consumed it very quickly and I think learned um, in a shocking, a shocking period. I think three weeks they learned HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Then we set them loose on the class project, which was the ensuing five weeks, and required them to have a mastery of version control and cloud computing and DevOps and all these kinds of things. There are certainly other courses that people can take uh, if they really want to get into kind of the nitty gritty of kind of line coding. Um, and you know most MBAs probably won't be doing that, but they'll probably be managing people who um, you know who, who will, or um, you know outsourcing um, some of their software needs to folks who will. And so I think in that sense, um, it's really helpful. We reserve spots for students from other schools across uh, campus. So that was undergraduate. We had music. I think we had architecture. architecture. Yeah. Uh, we had forestry. Forestry. Uh, so. It, probably others, so there's a wide variety of backgrounds, ages, um, ages um, Gender. genders, yeah. race, et cetera. So it was a very diverse class. People had work experience or not, had coding experience or mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. And I think this mix helped make the class uh, more vibrant. Um, and better questions for sure. Yeah, better questions kept us on our toes. And when the teams came together, um, I think they were surprised at how much they learned through that process. I'm an undergrad at Yale University. I'm majoring in computer science and psychology. They had like real world examples and real world like failures of what they did and that didn't work and what they did that did work. And I think in a course where you're learning management of the tech industry and the fact that the tech industry is changing so fast, you need someone who's like really active in the field now because someone who was really active 10 years ago wouldn't have as much knowledge. You just have much more credibility if you can sort of speak that language and kind of understand where people are coming from and so I think that um, has been particularly uh, helpful.